Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist, my ass. Even without the intro and outro, this video is two minutes and nine seconds long. False advertising, just like their religion. Let's do this. Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. Today we're watching apologist Frank Turek explain why sending people to hell is totally cool and doesn't in the least tarnish God's sterling reputation as a just and loving fellow. Now, I have a very special hatred for Frank Turek, because every time I hear his name, all I can think is... Turok! Dinosaur Hunter! And believe me, that gets old really fast, like having a song stuck in your head, only worse because it's that short. Frank, uh, how could a good God send nice people to hell? I got that question from Eddie Tabosh many years ago in a debate. He said, my mother was a survivor of the Holocaust. She lived a life full of pain and suffering, but she was a good person. She ended her life after, well, she didn't end her life, but she died after somebody offered her the gospel, but she rejected the gospel. And so he said, is she in hell right now? And I said, Eddie, I don't know where your mother is now. I don't know if she had a deathbed conversion, but if she didn't accept Christ before she died, then God is too loving to force her into heaven against her will. Okay, force someone into paradise against their will or have them tortured for all eternity. And it's the second one that's more loving. Right, sure, makes perfect sense. Because the implication or the assumption behind the objection is that everybody wants to go to heaven. That's not true. Okay, fair enough. But can we pretty much take it as read that we'd all like to avoid eternal torment? I mean, okay, maybe there are some masochists out there who'd totally dig it. Though if my friends who are into BDSM are any indication, it's less about actual torture and more about power. So wanting torture from which one has no escape kind of goes out the window. So if heaven is the only other alternative to hell, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, everybody would rather go there. Who's in heaven? Jesus is in heaven. Well, there have been people running from Jesus their entire lives. What's he going to do after the after death? Go, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, you're with me now. How would that be loving? But you see, Mr. Dinosaur Hunter, you're judging this from your perspective, from your paradigm. Maybe to you this is about some sort of loyalty or affiliation to your deity, but when you're asked why a loving God would send people to hell, it's not about that at all. We're talking lakes of fire and being raped by horned demons for all eternity here. Why would a loving God allow that? That's the question you're being asked. And to be quite pointedly honest, it seems rather like you're deliberately avoiding it. People don't want to be with Jesus. They don't want God. And what hell demonstrates, if it really is true, and of course I believe it is, that man is free and God is love. That we have the free ability to either choose God or reject God, and that God is loving enough that if we don't want any God in the afterlife, he'll grant that to us. He'll separate himself from us. Yes, there are definitely some of us who don't want God in our lives, because many of the gods described through human history sound like assholes. But the real issue is the fact that your allegedly loving God hides himself from us, never proving his existence, demanding faith instead of providing facts, thus leading us to think religion is made up bullshit. If he is real, your God has already separated himself from us, dumbass. And you know what? My life is no worse for it. I don't need a God. So if there is an afterlife, which I don't believe, I'm in the religion is bullshit camp, and the torment is merely being separated from God, I'll be perfectly happy to afterlive it as such. Maybe that'd be torment to you, but to me? Ugh, who cares? It's the stabbed with pitchforks forever unless you believe on faith part that makes me doubt your God truly loves anybody. And I could see how somebody would say, okay, I don't want uh, God, maybe. I, you know, hey, I don't want to go to church now. I don't want anything to do with God, but I don't really want hell either. And I would just kind of say that uh, maybe without God, that's just what it is. We don't get to pick our destiny. That's right. right. It's separation from God. And yet, it doesn't take much perusing of the Bible to find passages about blazing furnaces and fiery lakes of sulfur. And they make it pretty clear that these torments are eternal. Turok is, again, deliberately avoiding the question that's really being asked about God's allegedly loving nature. I think he knows he's backed into a corner and is scrabbling desperately for a way to get out of it. Naturally, of course, comments and ratings on his video are all disabled, giving us no way to call him out on it, at least none that he will ever see. 
coward. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Vote me down and I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine.